So far in West Virginia, we have visited part of the northern and northeastern regions of the state. We've seen waterfalls, explored bear rocks in the Dolly Sods, tried local foods, and wandered around the historic town of Harper's Ferry. We've now moved down the eastern side of West Virginia near Seneca Rocks, and today we're going to face our fears and do something totally out of our comfort zone, climb a Via Ferrata. Via Ferrata is Italian for iron path, so it's a climbing route with steel cables, rungs, and ladders that are fixed into the mountainside. So the climber doesn't need any special skills or special equipment. All you have is a harness and two leashes that, that you lock in that prevents you from falling. So this originated in World War I in the Italian Dolomites, which is one of our favorite places in the world, uh, to help troops move through the mountains. And so there's over a thousand of these Via Ferratas in the European Alps, and most of them are in Italy and Austria. We've been staying with one of my best friends in Virginia who's actually joining us on this adventure and we're currently driving about three hours from where she lives close to DC to Circleville, West Virginia, which is where NROC's Outdoor Adventures is. And today's Via Ferrata adventure is going to be about three and a half to five hours. We're going to gain about a thousand feet in elevation. We're going to cross a suspension bridge that's 150 feet tall, 200 feet long. And we're going to reach exposed heights of 280 feet. I really hate drop-offs and like the feeling of worrying that I might fall and Adam's not the biggest fan of heights so it's gonna be pretty terrifying but a ton of fun. This is my beautiful bestie, Liz. She's actually done this before, like a year ago? Yeah. And when she told me she was doing this, I thought she was absolutely crazy. I was like, there's no way I'd ever do that. But here we are. Here we are. You said like, <laughs> you, sh you were like shaky at first. Yeah. I, yeah, you go around a corner, like you take those first steps, you're a little shaky, but as you keep going, it's totally worth it. And the mom, views. she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> We are all suited up. We have our helmet, we have our harness, got my GoPro on. We took <laughs> like a two minute side by side, is that what it's called? Yeah, not even two minutes, like, like 30 a, seconds. A 30 second <laughs> side by ride. side ride yeah. to the base of the trailhead. Now we're hiking uphill to get to the start of the Via Ferrata. We're gonna get a good workout in. Are you nervous? I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm feeling pretty excited. Once I see it, I think I'll be nervous. I'm excited, it just still hasn't hit me on yeah. what we're about to do. <sighs> It's going to be so fun. Oh crap. <laughs> straight uphill <laughs> or straight up rock. <laughs> Most of the time you have two attached, but even one is plenty strong to catch you if you fall. The biggest issue would be if you ever do what we call a double unclip and you take them both oh. off, what is there to catch you if you fall? Mm -hmm. Death. Nothing. Nothing at all. So. The way that works in practice is I climb up, I have to switch to the next cable every few feet. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is whatever hand I do the first clip with, I'm going to make sure to use that same hand for the second one. And that makes it very difficult to accidentally unclip. Or They're all making me go first. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then you're going to remember that arm drape technique. There Perfect. Go. Here you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. There. Oh god, this is so scary. You got it.
How are you feeling now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> my legs were shaking so bad on the way up. That was definitely scarier than I thought it would be. I, I don't know. And then they made me go first. So yeah. I felt so nervous. I'm so impressed with her. It's crazy. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm, I'm like impressed with myself. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's crushing it. This yeah. is pretty hard. We've been this told is this is the hardest part though. Yeah. So I think the rest of it will be I was just trying scary. to not look around and just focus on <laughs> switching the clips and yeah. not looking anywhere but straight ahead. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, you would hate every second of this. All right, ready? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel about that complete <gasps> exposure right there? <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've gotten to the part of the climb where we go across a suspension bridge that I mentioned earlier in this vlog that's 150 feet tall and 200 feet long. It looks way longer <laughs> from here, I'm not gonna lie. It's so sketchy looking. It's just wooden yeah. slats with these massive gaps between them and then you hold on to wire yeah. to get across. It yeah. looks so shaky. Yeah, it looks super shaky. Just, you know, you can only have three people go across at a time, but I think probably most people would wanna just go by themselves. <laughs> yeah. If you've ever seen uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, that's kind of what, it's exactly what this looks like. <laughs> so it'll be a little scary, but the views here are incredible. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. This is a blast. Yeah. I'm shaking less than I was before. I feel a lot more comfortable. I think we're past some of the, the sketchier. well, I say that now, but I think it's gonna get even <laughs> sketchier, <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> sudden which is making the bridge sway even more once you get up there it's pretty narrow but I mean there's room to sit or stand and um, the down climb, the down climbing in general, it's new to us and it can be a little scarier, a little harder. The good news is you can tell they put a lot of footholds for the down climb, so that alleviates some of the difficulty. Long story short, what I like to say is if you've had any trouble at any point today, this is a nice place to chill and rest for a little bit because we still got a ways to go. Otherwise, if you thought it was all pretty easy, this is a nice added challenge. All right, here we go on the, the optional part. Gets a bit more uh, sketchy, straight up vertical. Dear Lord. <gasps> So 
Oh God, <laughs> this is scary. Champion. So what you're gonna do is you have to just follow the cable that way. <laughs> Careful, please. Oh my God. <sighs> I was shaking so bad <laughs> and I started to feel really nauseous. You did it. So he gave me a rope just to have extra safety. Wow. This is nuts. <laughs> I did it. Uh, you yes. And down we go. We're on some level ground where we can stand comfortably for a minute. Oh, it feels so good. The hardest part's over. <laughs> yeah, the top part, I was so scared. I won't lie. <laughs> At the spine? Yeah, yeah, especially coming down. I don't like, because you have to look over to find your foothold, your first foot. You're just looking straight down. Yeah. Oh man, but it has been so much fun. It's a lot of fun, yeah. <laughs> Pushing us out of our comfort zone, that's oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> We have unhooked and now we're gonna hike up to a little summit. And that's where we were earlier on top of that spine there. I've been obsessed with this meadow just in between the mountains the entire hike. There's just this beautiful light colored green grass. There's farms out there, there are cows and there's a tree that's half green half bright red. You can't really see it now and we need a zoom lens, but yeah, I've just been obsessed with it the whole time. We made it down in two pieces, I guess, <laughs> one piece each. <laughs> but when we were sitting at the top, I was pretty nervous. We sat up there for a while, and you, as you've either seen or you're gonna see, the drone shots were freaking crazy. <laughs> but the more we sat up there, the harder and like more nervous and kind of scared I was getting about getting down. I was like, man, I gotta get down off of this thing. But whew, we made it, and it was exhilarating and epic and awesome, and just, we are just- Terrifying. Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> we are mentally exhausted, physically exhausted, so, but so, so worth it to push ourselves out of our comfort zone. I'm so happy and glad we did this, and proud of us, actually. I said I would never do this, so never say never, guys, yeah, yeah. because now I conquered the Via Ferrata. I seriously could have never imagined doing this oh, in my no. life, knowing my fears, but I'm so glad we conquered it. It doesn't hurt. It's absolutely yeah. stunning around mm -hmm. here. So at least when you're like freaking out, there's nice views to yeah. look at. Mm -hmm. In case you guys are curious how much this costs, it was $280 for both of us, and that includes tax. And then plus we paid an additional tip because mm -hmm. our guide was super awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's not the cheapest activity, but like Adam said. So worth it. So worth it. Such a fun thing. You don't do this all the time, so it's yeah. worth the extra cost. But 
we are freaking hungry Ooh, now. Starving. We are starving. We worked up such an appetite. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go to the closest restaurant. There aren't a ton of options, yeah. but anything will work at this yeah. point. <laughs> All I wanted when I was very nervous and shaking and feeling very scared on the Via Ferrata were French fries. So I got my French fries. We crushed our burgers at the Gateway Family Restaurant. Now we're gonna head up to the highest point in West Virginia, Spruce Knob. Spruce Knob is only about 30 minutes from the Via Ferrata, so it makes for a really great activity after you're done climbing. And as Adam mentioned earlier, it's the highest point in West Virginia at 4,863 feet. It's a beautiful about 12 or 13 mile drive up to the top of here. And the best part after a long <laughs> hiking, or not hiking, but climbing day is you just park and it's about a 900 foot walk to the observation. <laughs> We're tired. <laughs> That's a wrap on another day here in West Virginia. This one though was epic, awesome, amazing, exhilarating, <laughs> intense, terrifying, adrenaline pumping, all of them so awesome. We can't say it enough. Just what a fun day. Yeah. It was just yeah. mind blowing. And one of the things that's really just stood out to us while here in West Virginia is just how much nature there is here. We said in our first vlog, it's the third most forested state. And I was kind of like, huh. I would have never thought, of, never thought that. But now being here, I totally believe it. You believe it. it, for sure. This area especially, when we are at the top of Spruce Knob, it was just endless mountains everywhere. You hardly could see any buildings, houses, anything. It just feels so vast and remote. And then where we were rock climbing earlier, it's just mountains and all of a sudden these rocks are just jutting out that you can That's climb. That's crazy. There's just so many outdoor activities here. It's just, what a cool state. <laughs> Do I look like an alien with this hood on? Ah, Edward Cat Arabiner. Liz, what do you want to eat? I want the apple pie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>